In this video, <coughs> we will talk about a quite small group of natural glass, the tectite. Um, as we've seen, most of the natural glass are uh, composed by three groups. The volcanic glass, <coughs> where the, the best material for uh, ornamental purpose is the obsidian. Fulgurite, a small group of glass produced by the falling of uh, lightning and uh, some glass uh, formed by meteoritic impact uh, and by fusion of terrestrial material. Uh, in this uh, in this group uh, mm, of uh, of glass, there is impactite that are um, vesiculated material, uh, glassy material um, found on the floor of the crater in impact structures so it's due by a uh, direct melting on of the uh, rock of the substrate uh, instead tectites are uh, glassy uh, unvesiculated without bubbles so very good for cutting material and for this reason there is a few of them actually two of them that are, that are facetable uh, in green color and in yellow color so tectites are the result of uh, um, melting of terrestrial, terrestrial rocks during impact of uh, uh, comets that are made by composed by water, and uh, the the molten rock is um, launched many kilometers far from the crater. So um, the more important tectite are four. I put uh, five in this map. There is one, the Ivory Coast, that is um, uh, represented by a few uh, samples, very rare, very expensive. But the other mm, four uh, examples are a material easy to find and not so expensive. So it's possible to, mm, to make a, a small collection of all the no uh, tectite with few money. So the, the most important are Moldavite, uh, 50 million years old, found in uh, Czech Republic <coughs> and related to a cr crater uh, westward in Germany. So this can tell to us that the impact of the celestial body of the comet was from west to eastward and uh, um, so the fall was widespread in this direction. So the same is the Libyan glass, that is uh, yellow material, the, this one, and these two are the two facetable material. Libyan glass is 28 million years uh, old, and also it comes from west direction. Then the Bedia site, uh, Georgiaite, is a a small group of black tectite in southern state of, of uh, United States of America in Texas and in Georgia and um, they are related to a crater mm, the Chesapeake Bay that is in this area that is dated at 35 million years and the more uh, young <coughs> and the more mm, impact, uh, the more extensive uh, uh, event uh, of the all the history of uh, tectite is um, 700,000 years old and um, uh, no, a little bit more, ar around 8, 0 0.8 and uh, um, is widespread on all the Far East, uh, from Thailand to Indonesia, Philippines and all the Australia. So this uh, very big event uh, produced a huge amount of glass of black color with different, many many different shape. So we will see a little bit more in detail. So this is uh, the the pr the production. Uh, sketch of uh, tectite. So the comet 
uh, impact vaporize the, the rock and form a crater. So, but no re remain of the the comet. The comet uh, lie on the crater because the comet is made of ice, so all is vaporized. Uh, the presence of ice is responsible for the formation of a big amount of melted rock because water um, lower the melting temperature of the rock of the crater, so it's more easy in this way mm, producing few instant a uh, big quantity of vaporized rock, and this rock are ejected from the crater in the direction uh, opposite from the provenance of the comet, and they they go in this direction, and they produce um, in small in uh, low distance they produce like a drop <coughs> of uh, of melted rock but in more far distance mm, they can produce a kind of cloud of vaporized rocks and then uh, again there is a rain but uh, <coughs> this um, this piece of melted rock are arrive so high in the atmosphere that a big portion of them can escape from, from gravity, uh, Earth gravity. The other portion that re-fall down uh, on Earth uh, fall on ground in as cold material and uh, they take aerodynamic shape and uh, they are characterized by groove on the surface because of the re-melting uh, of the glass during the uh, friction with atmosphere. So the, the more important characteristic of the tectite for distinguish it by from from obsidian uh, is uh, firstly the, the appearance is <coughs> with a very nice patina with some groove this is product of uh, the re refall inside atmosphere but not all a mm, nice groove not all the tectite have nice groove so if we make some analyze uh, we will found that <coughs> in, in a tectite mm, field the composition is quite homogeneous because the fusion I is mi mixed all together so uh, is very homogeneous there is absolutely no water inside because the high temperature <coughs> uh, is uh, make impossible to the water to rest inside and the difference what happened in obsidian that they have uh, few water inside there is no phenocryst so there is no time to crystallize um, in all obsidian we have some small phenocryst very very small but there isn't uh, in the tectite there is nothing is impossible and the composition if is as analyzed is very similar to that of sedimentary rock so it's nothing to do with volcanic glass that have mm, usually rhyolitic composition this is more the composition of a sandstone or a claystone something like this okay <coughs> we can see here the comparison of water content of most the um, tectite that are here so we see that the uh, uh, presence of water is about 0 0.03 0 0.2 or less uh, so very few mm, water except Libyan glass that have a uh, little bit more water but Libyan glass is a little bit anomalous kind of tectite because it's <coughs> made of big block so pro probably there is a lower degree of melting in the crater all the obsidian <coughs> have o mm, usually more than 0.2 of water and usually much more and this in violet, in purple color, is a group of um, mm, impact glass that are formed near the crater uh, by impact also, but impact of uh, meteorite, and are the result of uh, the same way as the tide, the result of a small uh, fusion of uh, earth rock, but is very small and the, the particle uh, is localized very near the rim of the crater. 
but the formation is exactly the same except that here is mm, in the most of the case here the responsible is a meteorite and in this case the, the responsible is a comet so where they come from the comets so we know from astrophysics that most of the meteorite come comes from the aster asteroid belt that is uh, a, a groupation uh, alineation of asteroids between Mars and Jupiter <coughs> so mm, when they uh, crash one to the other they, the trajectory the elliptic trajectory uh, change and they can start to make uh, a different uh, rotation around the Sun until they they cross many times the, the Earth's uh, the orbits of the Earth so they cross, they cross, they cross until sometimes they can fall down <coughs> directly on the on the Earth so uh, the asteroid um, is very possible that um, they fall uh, um, in in Earth, in Mars, or in the more the planet more near to the Sun, but it's quite difficult that mm, a meteorite go to the outer uh, solar system. So the same happen from mm, with uh, with comets that uh, stay in an orbit very far from from the planets, the Kuiper belt, and <coughs> if they uh, change orbit they can cross the other orbit planet and they they can fall uh, mm, basically in every planet so it was famous uh, big fall on Jupiter a few years ago that was seen from Earth so it is quite possible that after a long trip a uh, comet can fall on Earth um, for this reason we can have uh, on Earth we can have meteorite made of Martian material but not uh, meteorite made of Venusian material because mm, if a meteorite fall on Mars uh, some piece of Martian rock can be ejected and then fall down on Earth but the same cannot happen with Venus because uh, Earth is more far in respect to the, sun, to the gravity system so the provenance of comets is much more far and is much more intriguing and interesting to uh, realize that a piece of space have made so big trip to reach Earth uh, and to form a tectite. So um, try to analyze uh, each each tectite. Uh, the more beautiful, the more important is possibly the Moldavite found. Um, in Czech Republic, it takes its name from Moldau River, and is found in few small area near Czechsky Budovic. And the shape of this uh, Moldavite is um, quite uh, constant. They have many many grooves. They have uh, size of few grams until maximum five ten centimeter and they are always uh, with flat shape and uh, drop shape and sometimes with flow banding flow uh, structure and usually uh, they are composite of a very clean glass and this very good material suitable for faceting the gems resulting from faceting uh, moldavite are quite intriguing for its history because it's very nice the history of uh, its fall but the gem is not so bright because <coughs> uh, it's, a, it's a glass so there is not so refraction of the light for the gem but it's beautiful beautiful color um, and this material is quite rare but in few locations is more more abundant so this is the, the, the name of the the stone, the tectite, that the falling age is 14 million years and is related with the Ries crater in 
in the town of Nordlingen in Germany. So the fall was here and the launched glass uh, go in this direction and arrive in two main areas here, but there is some found also in Austria and in north portion near the in Germany near the border with the property. Mm, the diameter of the crater for have an idea of the size of the impact was 25 kilometers, so it's not a small impact, <coughs> and uh, the the distance. Uh, that uh, tectite have reached is between 250 and 450 kilometers. So it's a quite long trip that this stone made in the atmosphere. For this reason, the shape is so rich in in groove because of the, mm, the re-falling of the stone in the atmosphere is uh, enough uh, long for make a secondary uh, fusion of the uh, surface glass. Okay, and this is the the city of Nordlingen where the Ries clutter is uh, located and is clear mm, under the city. So uh, the, the wall of the city was built above the rim crater for um, take profit of its higher elevation, and so the all the old town is built inside the crater. Okay, um, the other quite important uh, uh, tectite for geological purpose is the Libyan glass. Uh, Libyan glass is found in Egypt in the so-called Libyan desert and is, is uh, so quite clean yellow color uh, glass is not always so clean so some portion of the glass are more green or more cloudy because a small bubble inside can be also until black and uh, the shape is quite different so the, the surface cell groove are mm, quite few most of the material have a blocky shape uh, with, a, with, a, with a nice patina and uh, um, some mm, piece can be uh, quite huge it's possible to find piece of many kilos so mm, the trajectory was shorter and uh, the degree of melting is short so there is uh, a quite different history in the trip of from the crater to the deposit for this reason, it show a little bit more water than the Moldavite. This is um, the the area of distribution of Libyan glass, and uh, uh, is hypothesized that the crater, like in Libya, uh, around um, 500 kilometer distance from the the, the deposit. The diameter of the crater, if it's exact the attribution, is around 21 kilometers and is 25 million years, years old. So the, the material is quite famous for um, be used in ancient time for produce knapped ar arrow point or uh, in Egypt, Egyptian age, um, Egyptian empire age they make gems. This is uh, the, the breast uh, jewel of uh, Tutankhamun with a, with a scarab, a uh, dung beetle. Um, this is <coughs> the group of um, tectite uh, related uh, with the uh, Chesapeake Bay crater that is around here and uh, mm, is found in two groups, Georgiaite in Georgia, Bediasite in Texas, and um, the, is, this is the oldest uh, tectite known, and the shape is more rounded with not so much groove on, on the crust, and um, the size is small, 2-3 cm usually. Um, the distance is very long, so 
from from the crater uh, they run more than 2000 kilometers and the diameter of the crater was really huge is probably 85 kilometers and uh, also it is possible that some mm, reworking secondary make it bigger so mm, in any case the original size of the of the crater was really big and this is an area where is found some microtectite but this is less important for our history so we can say that mm, most of the tectite are uh, concentrated in these two points and uh, another mm, little fall is that of um, Ivory Coast the shape and, and size is similar they have a bit more groove on, on the skin but are mm, tectite of a couple of centimeters uh, in size and um, the the distribution of the found is here when the the crater is the Bozumpi crater in Ghana um, the falling age is 1.1 million years so very young and most of the, the tectaita are found in deep drilling project under uh, the Atlantic Ocean uh, here so mm, the the diameter of the crater is 10 kilometers, so smaller than the other one, and mm, they run for 350 kilometers. So this is a, a small event, and the production is very small. For this reason, is quite rare. The mm, the found of this kind of glass. The last one, and probably the most interesting, is the the te 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 field called Australazite. Australazite is a group of tectites that are mm, uh, all together in the same fall but they have usually had different name mm, depending on where they are found. So in Java there was Javanite, uh, Bilitonite in the Luzon Island I think, uh, Philippinite in Philippines, Rizalite uh, in the Australite. So every place if its special kind of tectite and with different shape but they are all same composition and same and same age so they are have been uh, all to put all together in the australazite field so um, the origin <coughs> is a very wide area around 20% of uh, the head surface so it's quite a big event and it was related to the Bay of Tonkin that is possible the, the location of the crater but it's not sure uh, yet in any case the, the biggest mm, tectite are found very near to this area southern China and um, um, Vietnam so it's very possible that the crater is very near to, to this area if it's good uh, the attribution the crater would be 40 kilometers but the, the most impressive is the the distance reached from te by the tectite that is more than 6000 kilometer distance from crater and the age of this event is very young around 803000 years ago so when man was living in this area you remember there was the mens of, the mens of Java that was dated around 700,000 years and uh, uh, so possible some humans mm, uh, witnessed the event and was killed by, by this event okay this is the aerial distribution of all the astralazite and this is more or less the location of the of the fall of the crater so also if the real um, the exact uh, crater is not uh, surely found but more or less the location of the crater is in this area that in, in for the size of the event is really a well definite point and um, we can found um, 
different uh, structure in in the shape of the uh, of the tectite in near mm, proximal uh, sample medial sample and distal sample proximal sample can be mm, quite big a eh, few kilos and uh, they are usually with shape of drop and uh, they are uh, erupted they are um, ejected um, hot so when they fall down they are mm, yet hot and they have um, many cases uh, a shape of uh, impact with uh, with the soil like a, a shape a uh, little bit like a cow dung so uh, just it because the impact with the soil was when the material was soft and uh, uh, here uh, there is um, almost no structure of groove on the surface uh, due to the re-entering in the in the in the atmosphere, and in medial and distal uh, fragment, there is many structure of mm, groove. So this is the frontal uh, side where the fusion of the uh, of the fragment is important, and this is the uh, movement of the uh, high temperature to groove that make this groove inside the glass. Uh, one secondary phenomenon is uh, a kind of cracking uh, uh, on the surface due to the high temperature and the cooling and this um, is responsible in many cases to the fragmentation of this, uh, this piece, th this sphere, so many of the that material arrive in just a, si a single piece of of the wall uh, round tectite and the distal material is quite similar but uh, usually without crack and with a very well uh, uh, formed um, ablation and uh, um, uh, with a ring all around so this is the frontal side and there is a kind of ring formed all around by the movement of ablated glass melted glass on the surface from from front to back so uh, if you if you have a piece of tectite in your hand you you can know more or less where is uh, where it, it was fall so mm, each piece give us a piece of history of this event so we can add an, another group for um, include a, a group of probably uh, impact tight so uh, is a blocky uh, glass uh, very near to the crater that are found in Mong, Mong Nong Laos uh, they are a kind of layer tight more more recirculated than the real tectite and this is uh, found in very very big piece of many kilo of weight uh, the proximal are formed in, in this way so the, the melted uh, start to rotate and um, often is broken in two pieces with drop shape and uh, uh, all the medial and distal if this structure uh, make by the fusion of the uh, of the glass with the formation of a kind of ring all, all around with the final shape of uh, uh, bottom okay in this scheme we can see that the this the proximal material is hot in yellow so is splashed at the soil mm, so um, more and more uh, with the distance the tectite are arrive uh, on earth in uh, in more uh, cold uh, st state so mm, we have many structure due to splash in proximal and most of the structure due to ablation 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 in the distal stuff that is cold so 
this piece is called, the ablation is only on the surface, but this is was hot inside. Okay, this is uh, the reconstruction of the event, so the impa impact was here, almost uh, half of the hurt was implied in the, in the explosion, with uh, a fall of fire for more than 20% 20, 20 of the surface, so probably uh, the destruction was terrible, and there was a real rain of fire, it was not a rain of mm, piece of meteorite, it was piece of melted meteorite, so uh, something more similar to a volcanic eruption, but with the size of the planet that uh, doesn't exist in, in volcanoes. So it's probably the worst event in the history of the Earth, and mm, any uh, meteorite impact cannot mm, release this kind of uh, uh, big uh, piece of rock all around the earth. Uh, if you compare with the crater that possibly is related to the dinosaur extinction, there is small tectit found in the level of uh, the age of the crater, and the tectite are of, of the size of mi millimeter, under millimeter. And uh, so the the impact I for at the level of the all of the wall hurt was uh, just um, by cloud by uh, the some change climate change, but uh, in this case was o also uh, the launching of piece of melted material all around. So was something strong, and however there was no apparent extinction, so there is nothing so strong that happened at this age that could be um, uh, due directly to, to the, the fall of the comet. So this is the Java man that was possibly the, an individual that look, watch at the event and maybe die during this event. Uh, this is a similar, a similar event that happened in uh, Russia in 1908. It uh, was a big explosion, mm, a, a huge light, and uh, um, with a big fire that uh, burned and fall down millions of trees for an area of 2,000 square kilometer, but um, when scientific arrived in the area, it was a really far area in the, in the tundra, and uh, the tiger, and uh, they found this uh, this landscape. So no, mm, there was no um, piece of meteorite. Uh, they they didn't find the crater now probably is no a crater in inside the lake, but no um, trace of mm, meteorite was found, and in this is a sample with, with the, that was burned during the, the event, and uh, here uh, there was uh, a big study for particle, and no um, extraterrestrial particle are found here, so probably this was uh, the result of a small impact of, uh, of a comet. Uh, there is no production of tectite in any in any case, but uh, mm, uh, this is uh, possibly the uh, falling of a small comet on Earth. So this is uh, uh, this give us a little idea what can was the fall of. a uh, of a comet of the size the, of the Australazite event. And this is a, another a small group of glass, very small material with appearance of a lava, uh, glassy lava, and this is a picture of what can be the formation. This is a, a lava from a carbonatite eruption. Um, they are mm, characterized of a similar composition and uh, 
uh, water content with impact uh, with uh, tectite with the difference that they are found just in a very small place very near to the crater this is the Vabar glass uh, that fall the 1st of September um, 1704 in Arabia and make three crater was um, the impact was three small meteorite and the crater was 1164 and 116 meters in diameter and the distance uh, of this glass is few meters out of the crater another little bit more important uh, more abundant uh, glass is from Tasmania uh, it has a similar age with the Australazite but if not nothing, no relation and this um, Mount Darwin for this reason is called Darwin glass the impact crater is very small 1.2 km and uh, the, the distance reached by this glass is 2 km in direction westward so this is one of the most far reached uh, Irgizite is a similar material with drop shape stuff uh, from Zamansh Zamanshin crater in Kazakhstan and this little bit more older than Darwin glass the diameter is 14 km and they uh, reach no more than 500 meters so this is just few example impact glass are quite abundant but uh, uh, each material is found in very very few amount of melted material so this is quite not important for um, uh, or gemological purpose or um, production or any kind of object decorative object so impactite are um, quite different material they are found directly under the crater and they are the result of direct impact of the meteorite in this case is mostly meteorite but also comet can make something like this Mm, there are two kinds of stuff suevite is a molted rock and is quite vesiculated and lie in this original position so here under the, the impact and the uh, other stuff is uh, met metamorphic rock uh, uh, by impact that change the structure make some mm, for example this shatter cone in a dolomite this is from a Wells crater in, in USA and other uh, structure can be the presence of uh, minerals exclusive of impactite like uh, coesite, stichovite uh, and others so they are minerals that are not f never found in earth because uh, they need very high pressure and very high temperature so they are formed just during the explosion, during the impact in the in the rock that was forming the substrate at the moment of the impact both of this mm, kind of rock are very interesting for scientific purpose but if no value for ornamental purpose and another strange rock also not so beautiful but quite uh, abundant in the mineral show because is a funny funny rock is fulgurite uh, fulgurite is produced when a lightning fall to the ground uh, possibly uh, in a sandy uh, in a sandy area and uh, um, the, the temperature reach 30,000 degrees so the rock is complete, completely su sublimated is transformed in gas and uh, just uh, 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 some portion of the sand was melted around the, the trajectory of the light so uh, it is possible to find in some area some glassy tube empty inside made of glass but with uh, uh, the structure uh, the external structure of the original sand so this is the typical uh, uh, fulgurite formed in a quartz sand in uh, the Sahara Desert where they are quite common and this is a more rare fulgurite from Oregon 
that is formed in a basaltic talus. So it's a, um, it's a sand, but of basaltic uh, composition. So in both cases, they are empty inside and quite vesiculated outside. Mm. The fulgurite can be very long, some uh, 10, 20 meters, but is com because they are very fragile, it's quite rare to find long piece. And, uh, um, but it's possible in some case reconstruct, putting one aside the other, reconstruct its original size. And uh, scientific uh, have found that there is some place, some uh, age where they are formed more abundant and uh, probably they are associated to, to a water table uh, <coughs> that is necessary for uh, produce the fusion of the, of the quartz, so for lower the melting point, same that happened with comet, so it's more easy that uh, uh, lightning that fall in the right condition of sand and uh, porosity and uh, presence of water uh, make a uh, fulgurite. Uh, instead, uh, when there is uh, lightning falling on the beach, they never are formed, so the conditions are quite specific. And this is the case of uh, uh, Niger, uh, Chad Lake, and this mm, is the most important concentration of fulgurite on Earth that are dated around 10,000 years, 10, years ago and was a different climate, different weather than today, so the, there was a special condition to to forming fulgurite. But in, in any case, it's a quite a rare piece, a rare phenomenon, but it's not so uh, important for decora decorative purpose and for lapidary.